And what's up guys, Scootum Graham here bringing another video and uh, playing a little Kill Confirmed on Bakara or Bakara or uh hmm, not really sure. <laughs> it's it's the African map that starts with a B, man. That's all I know. I don't know if anybody knows how to say it. <laughs> Every time uh we play this map, I swear to god, I hear a different like name for it. So I, I don't really know what the name is. If you guys know what the name is, feel free to message me back, man, because I'm not exactly sure. Well, actually, it would have to be a voice message, because I know how to spell it, I just don't know how to say it. <laughs> but anyway, I'm uh, starting out using the MG36, and, uh, you know, as I said before, I really love this gun. You know, especially with the grip and rapid fire, it really is probably the uh, best light machine gun to use until you get to the M60. But uh, I ended up switching off this just because I, I got kind of called out, <laughs> like, in the middle of this match. Um... Because the last couple of times I played Kill Confirmed when I was like kind of chilling a little bit, not really rushing, um, some people moved by my tags and they were like, you know, and I was like, hey man, grab those tags. And <laughs> so it became like a little bit of a joke. People are like busting my balls a little bit <laughs> about, uh, you know, me using uh, teammates as pack mules to grab my uh, my, my tags. So, uh, so I was like, all right, man, I'm switch it up. I'm using the P90 and uh, run around like crazy grabbing tags. Which is what I end up doing. As you see right here, I just switched to it. <laughs> so uh, the next time I died, I would have it. And uh, yeah, so uh, you know, I started using that. And uh, I, I can't remember if I had uh, if I had range or kick on it. I'm not really sure. I'm pretty sure I had rapid fire though. But I'm not really sure if I had range or kick. Probably range, but uh, I don't know. Either way, it doesn't really matter. I mean, that gun is like pretty devastating. Uh, definitely, I think the second best submachine gun on this game, man, next to the MP7. Um, I mean, I used to think the UMP-45 was, like, really, really overpowered, but, you know, since I started using, like, the P90 and the MP7, it, it really doesn't feel like it's, you know, that overpowered as compared to those guns. I still think it's a little overpowered compared to the assault rifles. I think the assault rifles are, uh, nowhere near as good as those are, but, uh, except for the Type 95, which, you know, as I've said before, is probably the most OP gun in the history of Call of Duty. I don't understand, like, why they made it so, uh, so powerful. I mean... I'm really hoping they're going to nerf it a little bit. I mean, this game needs a patch for that gun and for the connection like it's nobody's business. I mean, this could be, like, really one of the better Call of Duties they've ever made if they just work on that. You know, I mean, it just, the Type 95 just takes away from so much, like, fun gameplay that could be had just because it's, like, so ridiculously overpowered, man. I mean, I ran into a team, and we barely beat them, actually, and, like... I mean, it was just the whole team was using the Type 95. The whole team. I mean, there wasn't one friggin' dude not using it. I mean, how ridiculous is that? I mean, you, that's how you know a gun's overpowered. When you're playing 6v6 and uh, <laughs> six people are using the Type 95 on one team, nobody's using anything different, it's pretty OP. So, I mean, hopefully they're going to fix that. I mean, and, and I really, it's driving me nuts, too. You guys saw my video about the connection problems on this game. But really, man, last night, I mean, I kind of had a meltdown a little bit. I was, like, ready to take the disc out and snap it in half and go play Battlefield. That's, like, kind of where I was at last night, man. Around, I don't know, probably, like, 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock in the morning. It was just, it was so bad, man. I, I just couldn't do it. It was just ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, every match I got into, you know, I was either 2 bar or 3 bar that felt like a 1 bar. And, uh, yeah, man, I mean, I would, like, sit there and empty a clip into somebody and, like, just nothing. They would just drop me instantly. And, uh, yeah, that was around the time that I ran into the Type 95, too, in the same mat, or same, like, time frame. And it was just stupid. I mean, <laughs> it was just really stupid. So, uh, so hopefully they're gonna patch that. I mean, you know, so, I don't know. That's, that's my biggest hope. Because, really, I feel like a lot of the people at least on my friends list that I talk to regularly, um, <clears throat> are really, like, going to start moving over the battlefield again. And uh, that's, you know, it's not that, I mean, I don't know, it's sad. It's sad. You know, I hate to say it, you know, and because I, I was a Call of Duty fanboy forever. You know, and I, I played Battlefield 3, and I was like, this game is awesome. There's no way Call of Duty is going to be able to beat this game. And, uh... I was like, I was, you know, I thought this game was going to be nothing but quick scoping, and I was like so, like, surprised, man, like, when I played this game, and, uh, you know, there wasn't as much bullshit as I thought there was going to be, I mean, they really did a pretty good job of balancing it, so, I mean, 
you know, I was like, wow, you know, this is like, this actually is, is great, you know, and then, uh, yeah, man, <laughs> you know, now I'm like, no, it's not great, it's, it's not, it's not better than Battlefield, you know, because they won't patch it, I mean, they patch stupid shit, you know, they patched, like, the vault, who gives a shit about how many videos you can hold in the vault, you know, and then they patch, like, you know, the noise, like, that you make when you're, like, you know, crouching and moving, you know, they, and then they repatched it to take away, you know, like, what they already patched, so I don't understand, like, what's going on, man, you know, I don't get it, um, I don't know what they're thinking, so, I mean, you know, <laughs> I mean, they, only, they did bring some good things into this game, for sure, like, kill confirmed, really good, I just wish it wasn't so campy. I mean, you know, people camp tags like it's nobody's business. I mean, that's, but that's really not, you know, an Infinity Ward problem. That's a community problem. So, I mean, you know, I can't really get mad at them for that. Um, you know, and Team Defender is pretty fun, too. It's two, like, really good spins on Team Deathmatch, you know, that, that really, I think, helped the game and it improved on what they had done before. So, I mean, that was really cool. But, uh, I mean, they just, I don't know, man. It, a patch is needed. It is time. This game has been out. I mean, I don't know, almost a month now, and I don't know what the hell's taking so long. And I and I really feel that if they don't patch this game, I mean, it, there's not going to be anybody left, you know, <laughs> after a couple of months. If it, you know, if they don't fix it by then, man, because everybody's going to go back to Battlefield. I mean, really, Battlefield sales, I I really fully expect are going to go up, you know, because of because of uh, Infinity War dropping the ball, so. You know, leave some comments. Uh, definitely leave a like if you guys like the video. I'm always interested to hear what you guys have to say. And, uh, yeah, man, I'll catch you guys later.